All right, so we're at one of those spots where we're kind of hung up because of parts. So what we're going to do tomorrow, it's supposed to rain, and we're probably going to go ahead and pull the rear diff out of the G35. Probably go ahead and try to change the bushings to the welded diff that come out of the 350, and then we're going to try to get it ready to go in the the actual 350. Well, once we get that rear diff done, we'll try to put it in the G35. We'll get all that factory stuff out for the 350. Um, but I'm hung up on the 350. When I took it out, I broke the sending unit plug coming out, and so I had to order a sending unit, a new, like the plug. It's not the actual fuel pump, it's the plug that goes into the opposite side. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so on one side of the fuel pump, or one side of the tank, you have the actual fuel pump itself. And on the other side, you have an actual, with it like just a float? Well, I broke that plug. And them things are 180 something stinking dollars. I'm kind of hung there. I'm going to have to get so the new fuel line that goes to the tank. And I think once we get all that stuff in, that'll be a day or two, I would say, is get the G35 squared away, the diff out, the other diff back in, and get it completely out of the garage. Um, in the meantime, we'll be waiting for the parts for the 350Z. So that's kind of where we're at. I don't know what we'll get done tomorrow, but we're going to try. And I'm actually hauling cars to the scrapyard. I don't All right, so outside you can see it's turned into a junkyard out here. I didn't want to do this at all. I live in the country and I had all these extra cars. I had my Tahoe. I hunt and stuff, so that's something that I got. And then that one, the little Mazda, that was just a you know just in case kind of parts car if we ran across some parts it had a good a you know, few parts on it nothing crazy but this is i've had this thing forever so i'm gonna keep that the sc300 you can see my son actually has demolished this thing and we changed the wheels on to the 350 and we have pontiac g6 when i had the shop we put a motor in this thing and I told the guy to buy a wiring harness, but that didn't, they ended up not getting one. So it's got a short in it somewhere in the wiring harness. I ended up with it somehow, some way, but we got that. So I didn't want to bring these cars down here. And what's crazy is I still got my white Dodge, my green Ford pickup F250 Super Duty. It's the V10 Triton. I have, the blue, what you call it, the GS300. I have Nissan Murano, a Civic EK Coupe, a Del Sol, 92 Civic SI hatch, uh, a 99, not this Tahoe, but I have one that's like the four door, uh, the bigger version. Not the huge like suburban one, but the actual bigger Tahoe. I've got one of those. I've got, then I got the BMW. Just bought it. I have, let's see, um, a GMC pickup, long bed, O2 model, a 96 pickup, a regular cab long body, or long bed. Um, what else do I have? I've got a 92 SC300 shell i have good lord i do have a junkyard no wonder they complained on me yeah so n needless to say i'm going to get rid of some of that stuff i'm going to junk some of it scrap it uh and uh 09 nissan versa i think it is it's like a little bitty kind of car and i have a 06 expedition i have a Ford Explorer, I have a nice, uh, uh, Mercury Mountaineer, I have 
uh, maybe a O2 Altima. And there's one more. Um, yeah, maybe that's it. But yeah, maybe I do have a junkyard. I don't know. I've got a car problem, I think. I have uh, the Civic Hatch 92. I think that's what I was going to finish building the GSR for. The Del Sol, I just part of the deal on. I sold the 350Z, and that Del Sol was part of that trade out. And the SC300, that was my original build. I was actually going to build a 2J motor and, and go that route, but then all these other cars keep coming. The Nissan Versa, ran, it runs great. Um, you take it down the road, it, uh, cold start, it runs perfect. It comes up to temperature, it just completely just stops pulling. So I think the transmission is just bad. It's not a bad looking car. It's just a small car or whatever. Now I've got the Subaru in here. I've got the G35. I've got the Canyon. I've got my rollback. I do have a problem, don't I? Um, yeah, so I'm going to be getting rid of some cars, and so you're going to be part of that. And you guys can kind of keep up with, you know, my addiction of cars. They're all junk. They're all beaters. But, you know, this is how I make a living. I've got a Civic financed. I've got a CRV financed. I have uh, a Suzu Ombre. It's the same thing as the S10. I've got that financed. Um, I think that's all I've got out right now. But, yeah. Yeah. So, some of them are pretty close to fix. Like the, the Pontiac, I've got the HP tuning. If the HP tuning will turn off the security, not the security, but the, I guess the Pontiacs, I've read where they do go into like limp mode. If they have some kind of issue about the traction control or something, then they go into limp mode. That's what this one's doing. Um, but I have the HP tuning, and I think that I can turn that off maybe. I mean, I'm going to try to make some phone calls this week um, and see about that. And the Protege, I'm just going to junk it. Um, I'll probably sell the SC300. As bad as I hate to, that car, it looks like a murder scene, but that thing's probably the most dependable. Well, the BMW, I'm hoping it would be the most dependable car I got after what I just paid for it. But I'm, I'm, I'd almost say that that SC300 is probably the most dependable car I have. It's usually, uh, if it sits for a while, it, it, the battery draws down, I guess, from the stereo amp or whatever. But if you drive it regularly, never has an issue. Never. Never has any problems. Um, Boy, does it look rough. It needs brakes and some other stuff where my son had driven it, but I don't know what I want to do with that thing. It's got a full stereo system in it, automatic. It's an A340E transmission, 2JZ motor. Runs and drives great, fantastic. Runs, drives, fantastic. But I gotta get rid of some of this stuff. I have no choice. I have to start getting rid of cars. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. That's what I got going on. So we're kind of waiting on parts on the 350. We can work on a G35, get it out, get the Subaru in, try to get it done, and hopefully pull something in. And the Tahoe, I think the white Tahoe, it'll be pretty quick too. It runs and drives. I just have to dial in the distributor, put some exhaust on it, and some interior work. So, yeah. This is what we got going on. Well, let's see if the old GMC Canyon still runs. This thing's strange. It's like you have to push on the brake or something. If you're not pushing the brake, you don't want to crank. I've been cranked in a few days since somebody called the police on me. It was about this time the other day, so Let's see what they do. Well, this thing's loud. <laughs> Still runs. Yeah, somebody called the police on me. I can't believe that. So somebody has called in on me about my truck. Somebody has called on called in on me. I mean, I got 
plenty of room, like where I live. I have like a ton of room. And somebody called on me about my vehicles in the driveway. And they're all on either side of my driveway. It's not like they're way out in the yard, flipped over, upside down, tore all apart. They're all solid put together cars except for one where I pulled a motor and transmission out of a Civic. And the paperwork that was sent, somebody actually called in on me. I mean, I, I don't do donuts up and down the driveway. I don't, I mean, I, when I pull in my driveway, I usually go in my house and I'm done for the day. When it's special, when it's cold, I get home, it's late, it's dark. Um, I don't have a lot going on outside. I don't have a garage at the house. So I pull in the driveway. We have those a couple of dogs outside in like a fenced in lot but again it's like a outbuilding like a um, like a 10 by 14 building with an air conditioner and heater in it and other than that feeding water to the dogs that's pretty much all that i've done for months when i go home and somebody has called in on me and and the county i live in the county and somebody has called in on me about having those cars. Somebody's got it out for me, I guess. I don't know, I might have made somebody mad, but it is what it is. If you ain't got nothing better to do, then call in on me, and I don't bother a soul. I work, I go home. I go work on the rentals. I work on my cars. I go home. I do it again tomorrow. What in the world could you be mad at me about? I don't get it. Is it that people don't have anything better to do with their time? Is it that you're so bored or have such a bad life that you have to look at what I'm doing and try to throw a wrench in what my world consists of? I just don't get it. I don't get it. Some people. I mean, how do you, how do people sleep at night where I'm so unhappy with my life that I'm going to drive by your house and say that bothers me. I'm going to call somebody and tell on them because I think it, he has too many vehicles. And don't get me wrong, it's not like they're beat all to crap and windows busted out and junk laying everywhere. I mean, mine are like one side of the driveway and backed on the other side of the driveway. I've got 20 something properties and I pay taxes. I paid almost 8,000. I paid, I don't even know how much I paid this year in land taxes. And on time, all of them. I buy groceries in this county I pay land taxes in this county not all of them but most of them um, buy my a lot of my automotive parts through the local parts store I pay my business taxes in this county my kid goes to school in this county I mean come on man come on man Y'all ain't got nothing better to do than mess with me. And if my life excites you, or I've done something to offend you, you're going to have to do some soul searching, man. If I've offended you somehow, I don't know that I have. I don't know that I've somehow got into your world and created some kind of animosity for you and yours. If it doesn't have anything to do with me working or renting you a home or any of that stuff, I don't understand. I'm talking about I got 30 days. I got to get rid of some cars. Come on, man. And some of the places I see around here, if I 
felt and done like somebody's doing me here. I, I mean, I, half of the town I live in would be condemned. I mean, I, I know people's got rentals here. I know people's got a bunch of cars here. Half the county I live in would be condemned. But you want to call the cops on me. Hmm. Seems like somebody needs to get a life. Again, if that uh, shoe fits, you need to slide that on. But if it don't, stay tuned. We got some more car stuff coming. <laughs>